Welcome or welcome back on C Squared. In this video clip, we're going to talk about the Remainder theorem, which is a very good theorem for uh, polynomial function. You will see it how we use and why we use this. Okay. But first of all, let's take a look to something with how we use synthetic division to completely factor each polynomial. So, for example, on number 39, we have. Uh, 1 because we have 1x cubed, 2 because we have 2x squared, negative 5, and negative 6, and uh, negative 1 here. So if you remember this, uh, we did it in a previous video clip. We're going to drop the 1, and the negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. We're going to add this and we get 1. Negative 1 times uh, 1 again, negative 1. We add and we get uh, negative 6. And here we get uh, positive 6, and we add we get this remainder of 0, which tells us uh, that x plus 1 is a factor uh, of this polynomial, which uh, was given, in fact. But now we have this quadratic here, x squared, because we have 1 plus x minus 6. So basically, uh, this is what we call the depressed polynomial, and we need to factor out this. This one can be factored out. We, we're looking for two numbers whose product is negative 6 and the sum is 1 that would be 3 and negative 2 so we have x plus 3 x minus 2 so this is the factor form of the depressed polynomial how i call it but y on the other hand will be what uh, will be the x plus 1 the given factor and then x minus 2 x plus 3 <laughs> Okay, so now if you remember, we have the factor form, we can do a lot of things like graphing, find the zeros, and so on. Uh, pause this video clip and try number 40. So if you have this answer for number 40, then you did a wonderful job. You, need to, you see how similar it works. Okay. Now, let's take a look to reminder theorem. Yeah. Okay. Use synthetic division and the reminder theorem to find P of A. Okay. So, uh, by the way, if we go back here and we plug any of these zeros, like x equals negative 1, x equals 2, and x equals negative 3. If you plug all, all this guy here, y would be 0. You can double check that. And the same for number 40. Okay? So here, in fact, what we're going to do, we're going to do the synthetic division and uh, see how much the remainder is. So we have here 1, 4, negative 8, and negative 6. And uh, we're going to put the negative 2 here. Right? So we're going to have 1 down here. And then we have negative 2, uh, so we add, we get positive 2, we get then negative 4 here, we add, we get negative 12, uh, and here we get uh, positive 24, right? And if we add, we get positive 18. Uh, this is the remainder. So what, what uh, that 18 means for us in this problem? It means that P of negative 2 equals 18. So it's a way to calculate the value of the function uh, by using synthetic division. Of course, you can calculate p of negative 2 by simply plugging in, like I do here, and you can check if that works. Well, let's check it very fast. 
uh, this will be negative 8 um, this one will be plus 16 plus 16 again and minus 6 so we have uh, uh, negative 8 let it plus 32 minus 6 that will be uh, negative 14 plus 32 it looks like it is 18 so look at here we get the same value so uh, that's another way to do the value of the function which we know it and also the synthetic division now the question is which one I'm going to use uh, depends what you need for that problem so uh, if you need to get the depressed polynomial then you need to do synthetic division because these numbers here are the coefficient for the depressed polynomial but if you just need a value probably you want to use the second one okay so go ahead stop it if you don't even do number 42 So p of 3 is negative 90, uh, you can double check by plugging in, and you, you notice if sometimes, you know, you, it's uh, easier to do synthetic division, right? It's uh, easier to do uh, simple math, like addition here, yeah, right? Uh, and then raising to a power, a number, and so on. Okay, and now let's see, in fact, what... Uh, I think is very cool about reminder theorem. So first of all, look at here, determine whether each binomial is a factor of this polynomial. So you have the choice to do long division, you have the choice to do the synthetic division, in this case, but also you have this reminder theorem. You have three choices. Which I'm gonna use? Which one I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use the remainder theorem. And in fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do, let's say like that in the previous problem we said p, p of negative one. If this is zero, then this is a factor, and I finish the problem. So I have negative one to the third power plus four times negative one to the second power plus negative one minus 6 so that will give us negative 1 plus 4 minus 1 minus 6 so looking to this guy we get uh, negative 2 plus 4 positive 2 minus 6 i guess negative 4 p of negative 1 is negative 4 eh, that tells us this x plus 1 is not a factor. In order to be a factor, we have to have p of that value equals to zero. So go ahead and try uh, number 44. And again, we notice on this number 44 that p of negative 2 is not 0. We can calculate if you want, but that tells us the same thing. It is not a factor. Okay? So when do you get the factor? When you get that value of the function equals to 0. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button. And come back on C-square for more math video clip. Thank you.